This video today will show you how you can farm the increased offline XP and legendaries boost online with your pals. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3. Also, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands. To win one, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this method is actually very, very simple indeed, and it's kind of familiar to a video I posted last week. So if you disconnect your internet from your console or PC, then start up and play Borderlands, you get increased legendary loot and XP, we all know this. But at the moment, you can only do that solo, you can only do it on your lonesome, you can't do it and play with your friends. Well, today's guide will show you exactly how you can do this with your friends. So make sure Borderlands isn't running on your console or PC, then disconnect from the internet. Once you have, load up the game. Once you have loaded in, head to anywhere you'd normally farm legendaries offline. Loot Tink in my opinion is probably the best spot as you can find 10 or more when you are offline. So head to Eden 6 and load up the Jacobs Estate area. Once you are in here, simply connect back to the internet. Once you have done that, you will see a notification stating connection active. You are now connected to Xbox Live or the internet or PSN or whatever. So here you are free to join any of your pals parties, so probably link up. So now you are back online, if you press start or escape on PC, the game will tell you there's an update. This you do not want to accept. So now what you want to do is press start, go to social and it will state offline connection simply click so you go online it's as simple as that once you are online you can easily invite your friends to play with you now doing this process means you actually are online able to play with your friends but you will earn those increased legendary loot drops and because you denied the update your game is still in an offline state but your friends can still join you so once your friends join you, you are free to loot. Jacob's estate area upon Eden 6 is home to many loot tinks. I posted a video yesterday showcasing the spawns of 10 plus that you will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out and farm this place. But basically from spawn, head to the original loot tink area as you will see I do. On your way you will no doubt come across another loot tink. This video will showcase a few spawning so farm what you can. From here there are a few things you have to remember. You can't quit to main menu because if you do, the game will register the update and you'll be back online. So do not quit to your main menu. And this means you can't farm the same boss over and over. But what you can do is you can fast travel. Meaning you can fast travel all over the game farming all the bosses which will have increased legendary loot drops. And because you won't be playing solo, things will be much, much easier. So yeah guys, use this method to farm those increased legendary loot drops with your friends. I will leave you to watch me and my pal travel about a few planets farming buses, getting those loot drops, so enjoy. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.